In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a niche website called halvingdates.com. I'm going to show you how I set up my campaigns in Google Ads to run seed traffic to that to get organic backlinks, and then how I'm monetizing that with AdSense and cryptocurrency affiliate offers. At the end of the video, I'll go through my costs and my revenues so far for the project. I think we can put together a list of the, the cryptocurrencies and the halving dates, or the estimated halving dates. Put that all into a nice little website, and I, d I don't think anyone else is doing that at the moment. I think I've set just over seven hours to get this, this project finished from start to finish. That's everything, the advertising, get it all up and running, get the site up, do the logo, do the design. But the hardest bit, I think, is going to be pulling in the data. We need to use either an API or some kind of block explorer, and we're going to have to figure out how to do that. So that's what we're going to start with. To calculate the halving dates, I need to go through each cryptocurrency and find an API where I could get the current block height. From there, I could use the estimated block times to calculate when the likely halving event is going to take place. Okay, we are finally finished. Um, what we've ended up with is this lovely little JSON data file, which includes all the raw data that we need to make this website. So that's the real hard bit out of the way. I've still got five and a half hours to start building out the site. I generally like to get a short brandable.com domain name. For this, I chose halvingdates.com. Okay, so as you can see, the site's starting to come out now. You can zoom in here to get a better view on the video. So we need someone to do a logo, sort out some links, do some internal pages for each cryptocurrency and bulk it out a little bit. Uh, we've got SSL up and running as well, it's beautiful. Okay, so next job is to set up, or to think up some uh, keywords to bid on. Whenever I'm doing AdWords, I tend to bid on um, exact terms within, which you just use the plus modifier for. So, halving plus Bitcoin. So we're going to um, choose the goal that we want is website traffic. We only want search. So we go to search passes, no. Could do all space networks, certainly not. So we have the ads here, basic simple text ads. Google Search Console, it's not called now, it's not called Webmaster Tools, I'm showing my age there. All we do is we, so this is basically, if you want organic traffic, this is a really good little platform to add your site. But we do need to copy this across to the DNS. Okay, that's done. Okay, so this is our site map. Okay, so we've finished up here with the website halvingdates.com and we've got a little bit of back site. Obviously, there's more we could have done if I had more time, um, but generally, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. The data is all on autopilot now, so that should update every hour. Um, we've got seven minutes left of the challenge, so I'm, I'm out of time. The, the ads are set up, so in a few days' time, I'll go back through them and I'll record um, the optimizations that I do and looking at that. and adding negative keywords and things like that. Work out some budgets as well. I haven't really got a big feel for how much to spend on this other than I just need to get to the, the top of the organic rankings really. Um, without that, it's, uh, it's a waste of money. So let's see how it gets on and we'll report back in a few days. As you can see, we've had an absolute nightmare. Um, Google has disapproved our ads because they're not allowing cryptocurrency ads in the UK. This is despite us seeing so many ads recently that have got through for blockchain uh, subjects. With this being an information site, there's no question that we're doing anything wrong. It's just providing data. Um, this, sh this should go through easy. Um, but without it, we, I'm really stuck because I can't get that initial seed traffic to start building organic backlinks and improve our SEO rankings. So. I'm going to resubmit re the ads, change them ever so slightly on the URL, get someone else to have a look at them, and then I'm going to go and have a look at some more traffic sources.
Okay, after resubmitting the ads a couple of times, I finally got one through. Um, I have no idea why the others are still getting disapproved, but this one's going been approved, so we're good to run and start running traffic. Not picking really up any impressions at the moment, but I need to increase the biddlers a little bit, and we should start seeing some traffic flowing to the new site. We're going to do some optimizations now on the seed traffic for harvingdates.com. So here we have the Google AdWords campaign. Now since I last done the video, I've made a few amendments to this. I went in and I added some more countries. So we're now targeting US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Ireland, as well as the UK. And I, I reduced the bidding. So you can see here that over time, the cost has gone down, but the actual, the number of clicks has gone up. If I hit budget for the day, which was only like five pounds, then I just reduced the CPC bid. And now, I think we're getting we're getting clicks for around 10 pence per click, which I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I also set up some Twitter ads, nothing particularly interesting here, just a retweet here to, to crypto traders um, based, or people that follow crypto traders. I think Twitter is one of the social networks, which in 2020 is a discovery platform for new content providers, along with YouTube. These, are, these two are the, the real you're not going there to necessarily connect with people you know, you're going there to connect with people that deliver useful content. And you can see from the Google Search Console that we are starting, just starting to get a little bit of organic traffic. In Google Analytics as well, you can see that paid search is still driving the vast majority of the traffic. Social is probably that Twitter campaign. Um, and then we have a little bit of direct traffic, which is encouraging to see. And then some referrals, which is nice, and some organic search traffic, which is what we're really after. Starting to ramp up here nicely. Let's, uh, let's continue this on and hopefully establish ourselves as the authority in this micro niche. So it's now June and the Bitcoin halving has now come and gone. There wasn't actually as much hype as I thought. The price didn't do as much as we were expecting and that didn't lead to any kind of mainstream media attention. We also had the COVID outbreak, which has just disrupted everything. The bottom line is the site didn't rank during Bitcoin halving. A few days ago, I had saw some stats come in that it actually started to make some money. So I, I went through the stats and I had a look at what was what and where the traffic was coming from. And the site's actually started to rank for coins that are halving later this year. Bitcoin Diamond, uh, Verge, I believe. And if you type in Bitcoin Diamond halving, then the halving dates website is actually the top result in Google. So it's picking up quite a bit of traffic from that. As we get closer to them dates, I think it's gonna be picking up even more. I wish I'd started this project a little bit earlier, maybe give myself eight months to a year to get the backlinks registered from the seed traffic and push the site up the rankings. So roll on 2024 when the next Bitcoin halving event takes place. And between now and then, I think the site's gonna to continue to rank for these altcoin halving events and that's gonna bring in a steady amount of traffic. And it will continue to get organic backlinks and social indicators, which will give us a, a nice moat if you want to do something with this in the future. Harvingdates.com, a nice web property to have. <laughs>